guys, it's Alexandra, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this look right here. I decided to film a Get Ready With Me nighttime edition. I have been wearing this look right here so often lately, and I love it. I decided to film this for you guys so you guys could see how I do it since I've been posting a bunch of pictures in it. I didn't show you guys my hair just because it was super easy to do. I just put in a ponytail, curled these pieces, and then took two of these pieces, just twisted it, put it around the little ponytail. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to join my little fam, and also click the little notification bell so you guys don't miss out whenever I post a video. So if you guys wanna see how to get this look right here, please keep on watching. So I did my skincare routine and now let's get on to this makeup. I feel like this is gonna be a really lengthy video just because this is gonna be a long makeup look. So I'm going out and I'm really excited. It's for one of my childhood friends, family friends, Sweet 16 and it's time to do some glam makeup. I haven't went to a Sweet 16 in so long. It's been a while. Spraying my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Let that sit in while I go ahead and fill in my eyebrows. First, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Dip Brow and just outline the top as well as create a very faded line on the bottom. Then I'm just going into my Anastasia Brow Wiz and lightly filling in the front of my brow. Now, just to set them, I'm taking my Benefit Gimme Brow. Now, I'm just going to prime my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Let me tell you, going from high school into college is such a huge transition. It seriously is so much more difficult and just a lot more work. I'm not taking the easiest of classes, let me tell you, and I'm so stressed out because I came into college thinking I'm going to have this high 95 GPA and I'm working for it, but it's just really hard because it's just so time consuming, constantly studying, doing work, reading. It's just so much and so overwhelming. And I honestly did pull back from YouTube a little bit just to focus on that because midterms are coming up and to me school is very important. That's why I haven't been posting twice a week. I've been posting one time a week. But but once midterms are over, which should be when I post this video, then we'll be back on track. I love doing YouTube. It's just that every single time I sit down to film a video, I'm so consumed with all the stress from school. I'm not myself. And then I look over the video. I'm like that. I don't want that up. Does that make sense? You know, now I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just shape my brows as well as prime my eyelids so I can get ready for the beautiful eyeshadow look that we're gonna be doing. But yeah, if you're in the same boat as me, then you definitely know, or if you were last year, you completely understand. So, that's been my life recently. I haven't done this eye look in over two weeks, and this was my go-to eye look. I wore this look so much on my social medias, a bunch of you guys went crazy and were like tutorial, and I filmed this look three times for you guys. Just wanted to put that out there. And every single time I filmed it, it did not come out how I wanted it to. So, of course, I'm not just going to put out content just to put content out. I really have to love what I put out, and I did not at all. So, since I'm doing this look again, I was like, you know what? Might as well film this little get ready with me. Of course, I gotta set that with some translucent setting powder. I've been doing this look for a while, as I said, and I really, really love it. So I'm going to be using almost every single shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. I absolutely love this palette so much. Yes, it is freaking beautiful. I've been meaning to do a tutorial on this. I love this palette so much, except one of the eyeshadows I'm going to swap out with this eyeshadow that I just got from MAC from the Holiday Collection, and it is absolutely stunning. It is like a gold coral color it is beautiful first i'm going to take this morphe m330 brush and i'm going to go in and take this shade right here and just pop it into my crease this is just going to be my transition shade so i'm just popping this into my crease and this is going to make it so much easier for all of the shades to blend in together later this has been seriously my go-to crease shade. I have to wake up at 5.45 because all my classes are at 8 a.m. 
And if I don't leave by a certain time, I hit such bad traffic that it takes me an hour to get to school. But if I leave at that particular time, then it'll take me like 30 minutes. So I get there early, but it's okay. I love bringing my transition shade higher up towards my brow bone, but just to create that little line, I'm gonna go ahead and take this lighter shade right here and just start blending this right over here. This is going to give it that faded effect. I'm gonna start by taking these two shades right here and taking it from the outer V and slowly blending my way into my crease. I am going to be going in circular motions. I think this works best for this area on the eye. Then whatever's left over on the brush, I'm just gonna put that into the rest of my crease. Don't worry, we will be cleaning this up, so don't be really focused on making sure that line is crisp. If you wanna just get over with right now, you can use tape, but then I just clean it up with some concealer. Now taking a bigger blending brush, I'm gonna be taking the E28, and with a very light hand, I'm gonna be taking this beautiful cranberry shade and popping that right over that color that we just did on the outer V and slowly blending it a little more upwards from my crease. This is definitely a type of look where you have to build up all of the colors because if you just go and like, let's say pop this shade right in there, it is not gonna look the same, let me tell you. Now on a more domed pencil brush, I'm gonna go in very lightly with a very soft hand into this black. And I'm gonna start near my lower lash line and I'm gonna go back and forth with that brush and then the brush we previously used to blend. If I'm going for more of a daytime look, I won't do the black and then I'll just go straight to the eyeshadow shade. Today we're gonna go for that nighttime look. And of course, blend, blend, blend. That is your best friend. I feel like I always take so much more time on the first eye and then the second eye, I'm more confident in what I'm doing. So I kind of do it a lot faster, I don't know. It's like, is that just me or no? Like, I don't know. So y'all probably already know the drill. Take the concealer halfway. For my lid, I'm gonna be using two different colors. So the first thing I'm gonna do is first wet my brush. And for the inner part of my lid, I'm gonna take this beautiful MAC eyeshadow, which is called Stylish Mary from their new holiday collection. Isn't the packaging to die for like, to die for. I'm gonna be blown away. I did not put this eyeshadow on my lid yet. I swatched it, but let's see. Wow. Yep. Wow. Wow. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Today, there was a bird who flew into our window. I guess it was a new bird. I mean, a new bird. <laughs> a baby bird. It didn't know what it was doing. It was a little bit stupid. And then my dad and I took it and we gave it some water and stuff because it was in so much shock. Like, it didn't break anything, but it was just so shook. And then it flew away. Then taking the same brush I used for that black and just blending out that outer part. Then for that middle part right here where those two meet, I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful red cranberry shade and just pop that right there. Kind of squiggling my brush around so we could blend nicely. Oh. Wow, y'all, this is amazing. Before I got this shade from MAC, I used the really light pink in the palette, which I'm just gonna use for my inner corner today. For my brow bone shade, I'm gonna take this beautiful pearly color. Just pop that right underneath my brow bone. Today is not my eyelash day. This seriously took me about solid 10 minutes to do. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I also lined right above it just to make sure that there wasn't any glue showing. Now I'm just gonna dip a little Q-tip into some makeup remover. And I'm just gonna remove anything 
that is underneath my eyes, just any fallout or anything like that. I don't put any primer underneath my eyes, so this should be good. And then I also go ahead and clean up this line real quick. Okay, finally moving on to the face because it has been looking not cute lately. I'm gonna be mixing two foundations together. I'm gonna be mixing this Fenty Beauty foundation along with my L'Oreal Pro Matte Infallible just because my skin is more yellow toned than gray toned like this. So, we gotta make it the perfect shade. Now I'm just gonna spray some all nighter again. And now it is time to start buffing in that foundation. First, you already know the drill of what I like to use. I use a brush to mix the foundation and spread it all over my face. And then a beauty blender to really make sure it is nice and even because this creates streaks. So I just do this for the purpose of really spreading out my foundation down your neck this is such not beauty groom material but it's okay that's how I do it like I'm not gonna lie to you guys and try to like perfect it if I don't use a brush for that purpose I'm gonna go ahead and take my damn beauty blender and now I'm gonna make sure I got no streaks everything is nice and blended I have huge pimple right there like uh, nah, that wasn't cute so I'm gonna contour I'm gonna take this pure cosmetics Camel Contour Duo Unzid Foundation. I'm gonna use, of course, a the darker shade. I'm just gonna apply that anywhere I would normally contour. This is such a perfect shade. In the summer, this gets a little too light, but once my skin starts getting less tan, it's just the perfect, most perfect shade. Now time for concealer. I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. I just got a lighter shade, cause your girl, boy, that's really light. Your girl ain't as tan anymore. That's really light, but it's okay. And then, of course, gotta blend it out. Now it is time for the beauty blender. It's okay, I'll just be super highlighted today. It's okay. Some Urban Decay. And I'm gonna apply some liquid highlighter. This also makes it a lot easier to blend out. I'm gonna be taking this Cover FX Enhance Drops in Moonlight. Make sure you blend this out quickly because it dries really fast. It is time to bake. I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and really lightly just set that cream contour just so when I go ahead and use powder bronzer it doesn't get patchy so I've been liking to that do that lately and then also while that bakes just to set my neck because I hate when my neck is like tacky and you could feel it you guys will not believe what I went back to for contour my Anastasia contour kit yes y'all heard me I started to use the three contour shades. I just mix all three of them together because I don't like any of them separately. And just to go ahead and carve out the cheekbones. Now it's time to brush off all the excess that's in it. Bake. Time for some blush. I'm gonna be using my beloved Tarte Blush in the shade Exposed. I should know the name of it by now. I'm just gonna apply that to my cheekbones. Time for the highlight. I'm gonna be using this beautiful Ofra high this beautiful Ofra highlighter in Rodeo Drive and we glow. I call myself a disco bulb too. Now this is what I talk about when I'm talking about a glow. Now let's finish the lower lash line and lashes. So along my lower lash line, I'm going to take the, I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna pop that along my lower lash line. 
for my inner corner highlight, of course, wet the brush. This is why I run out of my all nighter so fast. I'm gonna take this beautiful light pink shade. I don't know if you guys see the little indents, but I use this all the time for my inner corner because I do this look so often. Just pop that right in there. And then also drag it up to the little, little. It's coming together, yes. Now I'm gonna go back into this pure eyeliner and just line my waterline. I'm gonna take my telescopic, which is a new one, so we gotta, <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply a few coats to my upper eyelashes first. Now y'all know I love my lower lashes to be super long as well, so first I'm gonna coat them with my Subversion Lash Primer to make them even longer, then go back in and apply a few coats of the mascara. Then I'm just gonna clean my lips with a Q-tip from all that foundation. I just used a Dolce K from Kylie Cosmetics. And for my lip color, I'm gonna use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And the last time, and finally, the last time I'm gonna use this spray in this tutorial, I'm just gonna set my face with the All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I just really want my makeup to stay on all day. So that is it for this Get Ready With Me Nighttime Edition video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you thought. I definitely will be posting pictures if I haven't already on Instagram of tonight. So definitely follow me on all my socials, which again are always linked down below. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed once again. I love you guys all so, so, so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Two, don't let him in. You have to kick him out again. Three, don't be his friend. You know you're gonna.